Has your water softener stopped working? Is the media bed inside your water softener so clogged that it's slowing down the flow to your home cottage or cabin? Does the water coming from your water softener smell like garbage? Well, it's time to replace the media beads. How much media beads do you need? For what size water softener? Well, I'm going to explain it to you starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So this video is intended for any do-it-yourselfer or plumber who wants to replace the media beads inside the water softener. I've included information on not only water softeners, but also air over media, iron and sulfur filters. I've got a great YouTube video that shows you how to replace the media in a water softener or iron and sulfur filter or any other backwashable filter. I'll put a link in the description down below. I definitely suggest you check that out. Whatever kind of water filtration equipment you have, whether it's a water softener, iron and sulfur filter, you want to make sure you're replacing it with the right media recommended by the manufacturer. This is not the right time to be experimenting with different medias looking for a different result. You'll also want to find out if you need to put gravel at the bottom of the tank. Most water softeners don't require gravel, but iron and sulfur filters do. So definitely you want to check it out before you start. Well, at this point, you may be thinking, hey, Gary, what's the rocket science here? All you do is just fill up the tank with media and away you go. Well, no, it doesn't work that way at all. What happens is you need to leave some space above the media inside the tank. That's called freeboard. Because what happens when the media backwashes, the media expands and opens up to flush all the debris to the drain. And if you just put in way more media than it's supposed to have, it's just not going to work at all. Also bear in mind that whenever replacing the media in any kind of backwashable water filtration equipment, like a water softener, um, iron filter, carbon filter, whatever, it's going to be messy. So make sure you've got a suitable work area. Um, ideally, if you can take it outside to do the work, that would be definitely preferred. So what are we talking about replacing here anyway? What is water softener media? Well, it's actually a resin. And uh, this is uh, what it looks like. If I turn this around here, you can see it a little bit better. And uh, so these are very tiny beads. They're actually a polymer. And if you drop it on the floor, they roll around like ball bearings. And if you step on it, you'll slide and fall over. And uh, But the beads actually, if you look at them under a microscope, they've got little pockets like honeycomb cereal. And that's what absorbs the calcium and or traps the calcium and magnesium as it passes through the water softener. When those beads stop working, the water softener no longer softens water. So you'll need to know what size tank you have to determine how much media you have. So um, if you check the label on the tank, it usually has a four digit number, like 1054. So what that tells you is you've got a, a tank that's 10 inches in diameter by 54 inches tall. Now, if you can't find that label or you can't read that label, then you're gonna have to measure it yourself. So you measure from the neck, the neck up is up here, from your neck, measure from the neck to the floor and subtract one inch. So if, you, if that dimension is, uh, 55 inches, subtract one inch, that gives you 54 inches. So your tank's 54 inches long or tall, and then you measure the diameter. So the diameter is 10 inches. So that tells you you've got a 10 by 54 inch tank. The most common size uh, water softener is really one cubic foot of media. So that's a 30,000 grain water softener. So you can see you could have a 9 by 48 tank that requires one cubic foot of media, but also a 10 by 35 um, 10 by 35 inch tank also requires one cubic foot of media. And then we get to the like the 40 or 45,000 uh, grain water softeners, the 10 by 40 and the 10 by 44. And then we go to the larger size uh, uh, units and we start to get up into the commercial uh, size units, the 14 by 65s, etc. Now keep in mind that media comes, you buy media by one cubic foot. You can't buy half a cubic foot of media. So if you need one and a half cubic feet, you have to buy two bags of media. Now when we're talking air over media, iron and sulfur filters like an FOC, FOB, FOK, the size of tank is different than it is for a water softener. So for example, a 10 by 54 is one, requires one cubic foot of media. You can get your iron filter media from our e-commerce store, waterestore.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. And these tanks tend to be taller, and the reason is because the air bubble that's generated when these units go through their uh, regeneration cycle, um, they need to create that big air bubble at the top of the tank, and you need to maintain that. So because of that, these tanks are generally taller. So again, you can see that um, a 10 by 54 is one cubic foot, and then you can see a four cubic foot is a 16 by 65 tank. 
So click here for your next video on water softener media replacement, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I read them all, and I'd love to answer yours.